Hello, and we are live. And this is the Katie Halper Show. And I'm Marianne Williamson. And this is Marianne Williamson. And I'm so excited to be live with Marianne Williamson. And um, happy birthday, Marianne. Happy Hi, Marianne birthday Williamson. to you, and this Katie. Is Marianne Williamson, and I'm so excited to be live. Okay. Everything is working there. Just shutting that <laughs> off. Okay. Yes. Um, it was your birthday three days ago. Three days ago. It was. It is my birthday today. And so we're two. Uh, you were the first person who I ever heard say Cancerian. Yes, Cancerian. So we're two Cancerian women. Yes, we are. And um, wanted to take advantage of the fact that you were in New York City. You and Thomas Frank are, the, I think, the two people who I've done this stream with in person uh, since COVID. So well, you're in honor. good com company. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and I guess we. you want to tell people, I, I have to tweet this out, I realize, but you want to tell people about, uh, you have some, some new news, upcoming news. Oh, that I have a sub stack? Sub, uh, did you say a Substack page? Substack? A sub, I think it's a Substack. No. I bear, yeah. I'm gonna put all of my material, you know, writing, recording, Pod. new new yeah. podcast, a whole new thing. Yeah. Uh, so you can go to Substack now. Yes. And, and subscribe, and I'll be I'll be starting to download everything within a week or so. But you can go now and. It's marianwilliamson.substack.com, mm -hmm. right? marianwilliamson.substack.com. Yeah, I have a few things to say, as you can imagine. Yes. Um, and you know, you've been really active and vocal about something that's really important, which is the Julian, which is Julian Assange. Yeah. Um, can you tell us why that case is so important to you? Um, and also on a related note, um, the case of Stephen Donziger. Yeah. Yeah. All right. On the, um, Julian Assange issue, the one that I was interested in was, uh, reality winner. Mm. I thought, why are everybody's talking about Snowden and Hale and Assange? And why isn't anyone talking about about reality winner? And I felt it was just one more like, oh yeah, and then there's her, which I'm kind of sensitive about. So I, so I, and the more you know, I was very moved by her mother mm -hmm. and the things that I read about reality winner. And no one had ever been given a. I guess you should look straight. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah. Weird, oh, I'm I, talking to you. Yeah, I know. I it's, there? Well, when yeah. I said we're gonna get a, a better uh, studio where we. Where right. I have a well, I just don't shoot, know. But if yeah, I'm yeah. To talking to you. I'll talk to you. Yeah. You um, look at me in there. Yeah. So reality when his mother. The more I read about reality in one of his case and what an extraordinary the five year sentence she got. Texas prison. I come from Texas. I know what Texas prison means mm. in terms of. But you couldn't really read deeply into what was going on with reality winner without starting to learn more about all right, what is all this? And that's when I dug more deeply into the Julian Assange case. And particularly was, um, you know, I, I, I talk right. Uh, a lot about the military industrial complex, about uh, particularly secrecy within the American military, and particularly how, unlike when I was growing up, the American left seems to me to give um, too little attention to the issue of, of U.S. military imperialism specifically, and the military budget and so forth. So when I read what Assange had actually revealed, um, when I read about the collateral damage, when I read about the uh, indiscriminate shooting into crowds right. on the part of collateral Blackwater, murder, video, you know, yeah. uh, Blackwater uh, mercenaries, when I read about the people who were killed at the checkpoints, how many of the men were trying to take women to the hospital, when I read about the uh, horrors of the civilian deaths that we had not known about, then I realized that I myself uh, had been... Uh, not duped, but you know, his personality wasn't of yeah, interest that, no, to me, yeah, and right. I just kind of didn't go there. Once I realized that it's not just a case, and not that, you know, it, not that the First Amendment rights aren't uh, everything, and they are, and I certainly was very aware of the Daniel Ellsberg case and right. so forth. So the more I read, the more I knew, the more I thought, wow, wow, wow. And of course, at that point, once you have three wows, you don't right. keep your mouth shut. Right. So I haven't kept my mouth shut. Yeah, and it's a really stunning story because it's it's so meta because there's the Assange story and then there's the media silence. I mean, which is striking. You obviously know a little bit about media treatment, um, but and I know you had Daniel Ellsberg on. Um, so, what do you think? Like, what do you do to reach people? Given that we have this complicit media, what are your thoughts on this? And and do you, in your personal life, do you do you find that you're able to reach people who are not necessarily in, into politics because of your background in um, what's what's the word that I, I that you personal use? growth spiritual personal growth, trans yeah. spiritual transformation, growth transformation. Yeah. although could we stay with Assange for a little bit because nothing I've been through in the media or that any of right us have been I mean through, that's not comparable right can't, I don't can't want to yeah, compare yeah, to uh, yes. seven years in a room in the Ecuadorian right, yeah. embassy and two years in Belmarsh prison I just bring, look, go I just want to just so we, people don't think I'm making a ridiculous comparison my only point is how in 
how shameless the media is yeah. in what they choose to focus on. But yes, of yeah. course, it's no, not comparable. No, yes. no, I was. You didn't compare yeah, yeah. them, and, right. and I don't think anybody thought you compared them. I right. just didn't want to jump off the sure. the subject too quickly. Yeah, I think that there are so many ways in which we're simply not allowing our hearts to register um, the viciousness of the system when people challenge it these days. That, that's what really what we're right. talking about here. And at what point are you going to take a stand? And you asked before about Stephen Donziger, and that's is a very similar case in the sense of the viciousness. Whether you're talking about big oil, Chevron in the case of Stephen Donziger, or the military industrial complex in the case of Julian Assange, you're talking about something very similar. And that is what happens when human rights activists, human rights lawyers, environmentalist lawyers, or journalists get really close to a serious substantive challenge that might actually be successful. And how they don't, you know, and I know, of course, from my own experience, what they try to do is just erase you. What they try to do is just mock you, peripheralize you, make a joke, et cetera. But if you are successful in coming close to the bone, they come at you. And that is what has happened with Julian Assange. And that is what has happened with Stephen Donziger. And we must stand up. And that's why you talk about Assange and Donziger. It's why I talk about Assange and Donziger. So many of our colleagues uh, talk about Assange and Donziger. And at this point, both on the left and the right, people recognizing, you know, my father used to say, what they can do to anybody, they can do to you. Right. And we, and, and you know, Stephen Donziger has been in, under house arrest here in New York for over seven, uh, 700 days. This is outrageous. Yeah. And I don't think most Americans are aware that a, a huge multinational corporation like Chevron, that there's a loophole that actually allows them to use a U.S. courtroom to prosecute a private citizen. So I just think this is, you know, um, you and I are, are women and women know that, you know, we're, we're taught from the time we're little girls. If somebody attacks you in the alley, just starts yelling and don't mm -hmm. don't stop. We just need to start yelling and not stop Yeah, about all these things. And um, what else do you think? I mean, I, I've encountered people who really blame Assange for Trump's um, win. And I'm, I keep trying to, to get through to these people. Do you have any experience doing that? Or do you, are you well, just focusing on the kind of pure human rights um, press freedom issue? Well, first of all, it was Comey. It was James Comey who made the drama around, around those emails. Uh -huh. It was James Comey making the drama around the emails, implying there might be something serious for us to right. look like at, even if you which did, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, and I'm sure that there are other things that Assange, this is not about whether or not we find him an attractive character. Everybody needs to grow up here. Yeah, I agree. That's the thing that's so, I mean, they do they do these things historically to someone who, and, and let's be clear also, they've smeared him. It's not like his character is a certain way that we're responding to. They've they presented him in a certain way and they went with someone who they really could distort someone who's like outspoken and quirky. And of course, none of that matters. None of that should matter, but they will do that with people. They take someone who's not, let's say like, I don't know, the, the, the most, what's the word? I don't want to say wholesome because I don't want to say he's not wholesome, but you know, he's, he's quirky, let's say. And they take someone like that and then they do to him things that people would otherwise object to. Right. So first they have to smear and distort the person. Then they treat them a certain way. And then they rely on people's kind of like on what they what Matt Taibbi has has called the ick factor, which then um, supersedes principles, conviction, um, not in the legal sense, conviction, but uh, any kind of more uh, ethics, you know, like th these yeah. things shouldn't matter. But it's it's really disturbing to me to watch people who I consider to be usually kind of like honest people on the right side of history. Yeah, but I learned on my campaign yeah. that the left is duped just as easily as right. anybody yeah. else. So it, it's all a matter of fairy dust. They kick fairy dust right. in your face. Yeah. And then, and sometimes, but what we have to do is to concentrate on principle. Right. This is not about Julian Assange's personality. Right. And it's even not about the fact that they made him unattractive. It's the fact that they came after him and want to put him right. in prison for 175 years. Right. Making him unattractive is the least yeah, of it. Yeah, right. That's that's what we need to remember. We need to remember that what he did is worse than what, uh, uh, excuse me, what what um, the 
the, the U.S. government had to drop its case against Daniel right. Ellsberg. Right. What they have now been caught doing in terms of their conspiring yes. with uh, Siggy Thedorsen is much worse than the plumbers during the Watergate yeah, scandal exactly. trying to break into Daniel uh, Daniel Ellsberg's uh, psychiatrist's office. Yeah, psychiatrist's now, office, the, yeah. what, what concerns me is that in those days, we really got that. We really got how important the Pentagon Papers were, and we got that the government overreached and that the government had to back off. That's what matters here. And remember, Barack Obama exactly. had decided not to go after Assange because he knew you're getting too close to basic First Amendment issues, and also, are you going to then go after the, the New, New York, York Times? Times? Right. The New York Times. So right. it's interesting that Trump had said, oh, I like WikiLeaks. Then, of course, once he was in, he, you know, everybody First says he, he said was, he should be executed. Mm -hmm. Then he said he liked it. Then once he was in, right, Pompeo decided to pursue him, yeah, right, in yeah. a way that Obama had not decided right, to right. do. And on his last day in office, did the appeal to the British government. Right. So, so yeah, if, really you know, he didn't do anything as Daniel Ellsberg, you and I both yeah. interviewed Ellsberg. Of the Pentagon Papers, just so mm -hmm, everyone knows. Yeah. Yes. And Julian Assange didn't do anything that Daniel Ellsberg didn't do. Right. I mean, he did what journalists do. This is a big, big deal. And once again, going back to the Donziger case, this is all of this is an effort to freeze dissent. Yeah. This is all an effort to freeze dissent. We have a corporatist agenda that is represented, whether it's big oil, military industrial complex, big ag, uh, uh, big chemical companies, health insurance companies, big pharma, which takes us to the importance, I think, or the possible importance of Biden's speech the other day. Um, the very fact he even said that, uh, the, the monopolies, corporate monopolies mm -hmm. of these huge uh, multinational corporate interests. Anyway, they're coming after, you know, just like they want to, you know, 700 days and under house arrest right. um, uh, for Stephen Donziger. They want to throw him in prison for six months. All for winning it. With, and just so everyone knows, for that's for, and people do because they watch the show. But, okay. but just so everyone in case they're tuning in, mm -hmm. Donziger is under house arrest for winning helping win a settlement against chevron okay um for poisoning the amazon in ecuador okay. basically right let's, let's talk about even what that was this was in the 1960s this was when texaco the then yeah. oil giant texaco in order to save three dollars a pit yeah this is texaco is what chevron is now well this chevron has now. bought has chevron bought, yeah, bought right. texaco yeah. okay so ecuadorian uh, environmental standards were less than ours. And we know that ours aren't high enough, right. right? But in order to save $3 a pit, these pits were completely unlined. They actually told these farmers, no, this oil is good for you to have it in the water. It's like milk. It's got vitamins in it. They poisoned the water in uh, of the Amazon there. They poisoned the land, poisoned the bodies, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of people's bodies that have been harmed by this, the rates of cancer, etc. When Stephen Donziger and others tried to bring this to court in the United States, Chevron said, oh, we want it brought to Ecuador and we will abide by, we will stand by whatever the judgment is there. I guess they thought that they would have an easier time buying off people in Ecuador or whatever. There was a $9 billion judgment. Ecuador says, no, we're, <laughs> no, no, no. They could have cleaned this up so many times over by now. And their strategy is to go after Stephen Donziger. Once again, much like, see, it's important that we see the parallel mm -hmm. here uh, between Donziger and Assange. It's saying to journalists and human rights activists and environmental uh, lawyers, anybody uh, who goes close to challenging the fundamentalist corporatist agenda, stop right there. And if you do not stop, we're coming after you. Yeah. And that's what's happening now. And that's why we have to stand up for these people. And just so people know, so with Daniel Ellsberg, they dropped the case. And we're talking about the Nixon. But they had to. Because right, they had the, to because yeah. it was discovered that they had tried to, um, they broke into his psychiatrist's office the to most, get the now, files. Yeah, I know it was like a I joke. It's, like, it's almost a slapstick but, comedy. But, but, but now. But then the, the parallel here is that if the Biden administration had any shame, and we do have to put pressure on him, right, to do this, yeah, them, do, they would have dropped it because we now know that- And he could have dropped it. I know, of he, course. He, he, he came into office and he's one after the other, he's repealing moves by yeah. Trump. So why didn't None he enough, undo so, this yeah. move by right, Trump? Right. All we're asking him to do is to do what Obama Bar did. Uh, yes. right, Barack Obama yes. did and say, you know what, we're not going. Right, there. but you're siding with this, I mean, the guy who you call, um, I can't remember what he called him right now. Uh, I'm trying to remember the insult. But like, we know you like Obama, right? And we know that Obama's the constitutional law guy, right? He's rule of law. I mean, okay, I, I don't I think he always followed that. But he's certainly 
um, his his shtick, right, is that he he was the he was presidential, unlike Trump, who is this you know maniac. That's the narrative. So Biden side with Obama, and also this is so embarrassing because you and I obviously think it, it's basically Assange is being persecuted. Um, and he could easily die. We should mention this. Like they want, I think they want him to die behind bars and they want with Chelsea Manning, they subjected her to uh, solitary, which is considered torture. It is when torture. she tried to kill herself, and they punishment. subjected her to cruel and unusual yeah. punishment. How do you do that to someone who's suicidal? So he is in it, being persecuted and, and tortured for doing what the New York Times has done, right? If you're going to say that what Assange did is illegal and dangerous and treasonous and espionage, that really sucks for all the newspapers that publish this stuff that he, uh, that WikiLeaks released, right? So that's already a thing. It's already shameful. It's already a stain on our democracy. It's already an embarrassment, a huge embarrassment around the world. You had the president of Azerbaijan calling us out for that, right? And then on top of that, we now know or maybe people don't know because the media was totally silent about it. But we do now know that the main witness against Assange, because they had to focus on the hacking because of the New York Times problem, right, where they couldn't focus on the release of the news because then all these places that the, the main witness, this this guy who volunteered briefly at, at WikiLeaks, who they based almost all of the hacking stuff on, not only is he, does he happen to be a uh, literal a uh, pedophile and a diagnosed sociopath, okay? He has admitted that he lied, okay? Now, again, if the Biden administration had the, I don't even, I never thought I'd say this, had the moral fiber of the Nixon administration. And no, I'm, Nixon administration, they didn't drop it because they had moral fiber. The case no, fell apart. Uh, well, but they had the, yes, of course they did, but I'm, no, I'm saying, I'm saying that intentionally. I'm saying that intentionally. Like, I guess you're right. It's not if the court, yeah, the, if, if the, our the case world, fell apart. Yeah, the case and the, fell apart, but this right. case should have fallen apart. There's it's nothing is, more embarrassing. In other words, the 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 hacking into um, hacking, sorry, uh, breaking into Ellsberg's psychiatrist's office is is no worse than um, getting uh, now recanted testimony from uh, someone who admitted to lie. Not only and, that, he. he Clearly, what the U.S. government, what the the Justice Department had said to him, they knew he was I right. They of course, knew he they lying. offered it. Yeah. So this, and they offered him immunity because yeah, right. he was scared to right. death. Yeah. It turns out he had really no serious connection right. yes. with uh, with Julian Assange yeah. anyway. And the Iceland uh, Iceland Icelandic government has staged a complaint. Yes. Um, so again, just for for the optics of it, just pretend that you care about this. Just you can even say to your friends and family who you want to impress as I don't know, going hard after WikiLeaks, you can say, "Oh, we really tried, but unfortunately, there was a witness." You know, I'm just giving Biden spitballing, giving him some options. You don't have to have egg on your face. You can you can do this without having egg on your face by saying uh, because it was under it was under Trump, right? That they got was it under Trump. Oh well, it was that, tr on Trump's first day, last day right, in but, office. But this, the Thorderson, the the hacker who we now know is lying. Yeah. So so yeah, we're just trying to give you guys help uh, with that. Yeah, we're just trying to help yeah. the Biden administration. Yeah, yeah, here. we're just doing we're giving free pe free uh, comms tips. To the oh, Biden are people saying nice things and happy birthday yes. to us? Um, yeah. This is, this is cute. As much as, I guess, as much as Katie's duct tape and bubblegum production standards are sometimes annoying, I'm going to miss it when, if she improves her production quality, I'll keep watching either way. Thank you, I guess. Thank you. It's the donation, so I'll thank you for that. I think it's cool that you're so garage band. Thank you. Yeah, garage band. I like that. Um, what else was I going to look at or say right now? Um, Obama's policy on Assange was not to go after him. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, he um, knew that he was getting too close right. to the bone on First Amendment rights yes. and that he would have to go uh, after the New York Times. Yeah. So, Biden, we're talking to you. Uh, we know you're watching. Everybody really look up the Stephen Donziger, yeah. Di Donziger Defense Fund, I think it's called, freedonziger.org. Please look up the Donziger issue and do what you can. We want Merrick Garland to step yes. in here yeah. and take it away. It's ridiculous that a private corporation can actually use a U.S. courtroom right. to uh, prosecute a U.S. citizen. It should just be done through the courts. It's ridiculous. And the office, the prosecutor, uh, the federal, uh, the, 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 what is it, the district, Southern District Prosecutor's Office wouldn't do it. And the judge assigned a private yeah, corporate law firm about. to prosecute 
mm -hmm. uh, Don Zagur. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about this at all because we didn't. Do you know? Do you, do you have any insights into this? Into the mayor's that, thing? that particular issue yeah. or what? Oh, sorry, this the one. Donziger? About no, sorry, this is a different one. The Results mayor. in New York City. Yeah. Why didn't Wiley? Why? That's, that's I don't not. Live that's here not. Anymore, yeah, so I'll get. I, I'll have an. Know. I'll have Ross Barkin and and uh, Ava Farkas back on. Um. So let's see. Biden. Uh. No, just kidding. Let's see. Anything? Um. Oh, Cuomo. Yeah, I mean, I I think that. Um, yes, I am being facetious when I praise, I mean, I think that obviously um, Obama was a big disappointment on all of these issues. I'm saying that the narrative put forward by Biden and his supporters is that we've returned to normalcy, which as you, Marianne, said before Biden was elected, you warned against normalcy not being okay to return to, right? Like the normalcy is, is first of all, it's abnormal. Um, but it's not going to be sustainable. And that's another question I have for you. Uh, what What are your thoughts today about um, about Biden, the administration? You were someone who called him out on Yemen, and we see that he improved somewhat on Yemen, but not really. It was a real turn of hand, a sleight of hand, right? Well, so unfortunately, that's what's happening in a lot of areas. Yeah. What happened, I thought, the other day was very, very interesting, his economic speech. On one hand, to hear a U.S. president even mention uh, Franklin Roosevelt's Bill of Economic Rights. I was like, whoa, what? Right. The very fact that he mentioned uh, the monopoly issue that he put Lena Khan at the FTC is a big deal. She's a big anti-monopoly person that he talked about the corporate monopolization of big tech. He named big tech, big pharma, big ag, uh, that he's coming after them. Um, the, if, if he actually, as you said, moves beyond just talking about it, beyond just performative to actually doing something, this could be big, big news. But I think what it demonstrates is that he is the high end of what is still a romantically delusional view of American capitalism. He looks at capitalism like this great thing and it's a big ship that's listing on its side. And he mm -hmm. said he's going to fix it by coming after monopolies. And then he kept talking about the competition that not only does it uh, does it uh, get rid of competition from other companies, it also uh, gets rid of competition from the workers and it's unfair to the workers. My point about that is that that's what Democrats would have been saying decades ago. It's too late because everything he's talking about, even if he does do what he's talking about, it's not going to reach the, the permanent underclass fast enough. That's why even doing what he's doing, and I hope he continues, we still need UBI. We still need Medicare for all. We still need the cancellation of the college loan debt. We still need uh, the free colleges and universities and the Green New Deal. So I see what he's doing. He's saying, I'm not giving up my the sort of neoliberal view of capitalism, but I'm going to fix it. Too late. You guys, it's too toxic. It's too dangerous. It's too perilous do what you're doing, but you're going to have to do the other stuff as well, yeah. or too many people will continue to suffer at least right. for the next 20 or 25 right. years. It, it's structural. It, 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 yeah. He thinks it's structural change, but the structural rot goes deeper than that at this point. And you are also going to be one of the speakers at the Medicare for All rally. Uh -huh, on um, July 24th. On July 24th. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about that? And I have to get in there. I'm to, I have to talk to the people so I can participate in the New York. Please one. do. But please yeah. do. And come visit me in, in, in Washington yeah. and stay at my apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Well, I have to do it here, but then yeah, I'll yeah. go to DC okay. for well, something else. Yeah, yeah. Celebrate yeah. our birthdays. Yes, together. we're going to have a DC birthday party. Yeah. Um, um, so tell us about that. We need Medicare for All. I mean, it's, 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 July all of the arguments. Everyone, yeah. I mean, people really need to, to realize, you know, they just pledged another $2 trillion over the next 30 years on nuclear weapons. Uh, you have people still trying to decide, you know, how, how they're going to manage to get their insulin. There are still people going into medical bankruptcy. This should not be happening in the richest country in the world and doesn't happen in any other advanced democracy. I'm, I'm t we, we shouldn't even have to talk about how we're going to pay for it. When you're still talking about the fact that even though, once again, even on the corporate tax rate, and Biden has said, thank you very much. He's talked about how we should repeal some of the corporate tax cut left from the 200, 2017 tax cut. It hasn't happened yet. So basically, he's trying to have it both ways. So thank you very much for trying to do the good, but we got to see some action here. And in, until we actually have Medicare for all, they're trying to close the gap the the um, uh, with uh, Medicaid, with Medicare, with Obamacare. And I used to think, even when I was running for president, mm -hmm. I thought we can do that. 
to me, it's all too little, too slow, too late. And that's what's happening on so many issues. It's not, it's not that there aren't some people within the Biden administration trying to go in the right direction. It's, a, it's too, not only too little in some cases, but too slow and too late. At this point, we need a massive infusion of economic hope and opportunity into the life of the average American and Medicare for all absolutely has to be part of that equation. And can you share how you shifted on that issue? Because it's, it's uh, basically what I just said. It's just to the level of, 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 um, you know, I also want to tell a story. It was several years ago. I was at my daughter's apartment in London. And I had an attack of something. We, uh, they think it was gastritis. I never had anything before. I never had anything since like this. It felt like between like my breastbone and my waist, it felt like razor blades. It was the most awful thing. And I was I crawled into my daughter's bedroom. And my daughter said, should I call the ambulance? And I said, yes. And she knew that I was serious, she told me later, because anytime she'd ever said that her whole life, I told her, don't be ridiculous. Right. I said to the people who got there, they got there very quickly. I said, am I having a heart attack? They said, that's what we don't know. They got me to the hospital quickly. I had every test available, the m m unbelievable attention. Um, they gave me, they thought it was gastritis. Here are the pills until you get back to the United States. And when I walked out and I said, what do I owe you? They looked at me like, oh, us. I still have a, if I was an Englishman, I'd still have a problem why this lady visiting from then California shouldn't have to right. pay anything. Right. But I saw, I think that part of what's drowning Americans is even if they have Obamacare and even if they have Medicaid and even if they have M Medicare, right. it, it's so complicated. Yeah. I think it should be like if your house is on fire, mm -hmm. the fire department comes. If your body is on fire, we take care of you so that people can live the lives that everybody really wants to live, soaring, self-actualizing, creating, producing, and that's how you create an economy and a society that works. Yeah. And you shared on my show before about your own physical um, surgery. Yeah, my here. rotator cuff surgery. Yeah. Where would I be without surgery? Right. And I mean, where would I be without insurance? I mean, right. Yeah. yeah. Where would I be without? Yeah. Nobody should have to live through those questions. Everybody, you know, I was reading a quote the other day from Thomas Jefferson, and he was saying the, and we can go into. Sure. There's problematic problematic right yeah we know that yeah, yeah but he said the purpose of government should be to help people live happy lives and i know a lot of people say only some of them and of course that's true. Yes, right but at this but point our government apply. right yeah right exactly and uh our government not only does not support democracy at this point it not only does not support people it thwarts people's dreams mm. That's why you should have economic justice, so that people don't have to think about money all the time. Right. That's why you, people shouldn't even have to think about whether or not they'd have health care. Why? So that they can go live the lives that we all want to live. That should be the purpose of government, to support people in living their best lives. Do you remember what oh, time I gotta you go, to go. Okay. I got to go on a train. Well, guys. Um, Did I talk too much? No. Of course, we want you to talk too much. We want you to talk more. You're the guest. And everyone, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to take some more questions. I'm going to bring Bodhi on the screen. Marianne has to leave. So I'm going to um, thank you, you too. Um, so don't go anywhere. Maybe I can even play uh, a video or something. I probably can't do that. But just just stay here because I'm going to say goodbye to Marianne. Bye, she has to take a, tr a train. Happy and then Sunday. I will keep going with you guys. I'll talk to and I'm going to bring in Bodhi. So you Happy have a real tr birthday. Tr treat. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, it's 7-Eleven, guys. So you can always remember that. And um, let me just write here. Uh, uh, I will, let's see, I'm gonna, do you mind if, like, do you want me to shut the camera off so that, or do you mind, or, or do you want, want me to turn just around? Walk out? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you. Bye. See you later. Bye, everybody. I'll, I'll walk you out. But guys, wait one second. Just wait one second. I'm just gonna write on this thing. Are we out? Is the car here? Oh, okay banner let's see what do i do create banner um stand by for bodie and katie guys one second okay <clears throat> let's see please hold everyone just go. What do you mean, just go? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. 
Maybe you should have done this before. What are you talking about? I don't know why I pay attention to people like haters. What are you talking about? Done what before? You're so rude. Ugh, sorry. I don't mean to be whatever, but I'm just trying to change my label. Stand by. Stand by for more Katie and Bodie. Hold on. All right, I'll be back. You guys are so rude. I can't believe it. Hi guys. Hi darling. How, uh, Angela, how many minutes are you going to be here? Like a couple, right? Okay. Still five minutes. Okay, yeah. All right. So we we have. All right, guys, listen. First of all, yeah, I don't know what anyone's complaining about. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. Why are we saying goodbye to Marianne? Because Marianne, um has to go. She's catching a train. All right. So here's Bodhi. Bodhi, what would you like to say to these people? You know, and I'm sorry because most people in this chat are very, very nice. Um, I just see one thing. Bodhi, what do you think? What do you think? Do you have any, any ideas about this? You guys want to ask me anything on my birthday? You want to ask Bodhi anything? That face. It's B O D H I. Hold on, let's see. I love you. You're behind scenes, people. I don't even know. Anyway, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna say anything negative, please feel free to pay some money. I'll read the comment. Oh, Marianne, don't forget, Marianne has a, I'm trying to get Bodhi in. Marianne has a um, Substack, and she's launching it. It's um, MarianneWilliamson.substack.com. Also, for my birthday, you guys want to give me a birthday present? Here's why. Ready? Here's why. Here's what you can do. You want? It? Are you ready to know what you can do? Look at Bodhi's face. Okay. <sighs> Become subscribers. I'm almost at 50K. Oops. I'm almost at 50K, guys. 50K subscribers. Does that thing have an address on? No. I'm almost at 50K subscribers. So what I need from you is for you to join youtube.com slash the Katie Helper Show. It's free. You just hit subscribe and you press the bell. You hit subscribe and you press that bell. Hit subscribe and you press that bell. Right, boo? Right, boo? She's so chill, but when she's angry, she growls like a crazy person. Oh, yeah. Also, hit the like. Hit the like. Marianne does not have a new book that I know. I'll ask her, but she has a new subset, guys, and she's launching a new podcast. Um, thank you so much, Misha Kay. And you know what else would be a great birthday present? Um, I gotta say, a great birthday present. In fact, let me write that. Would be, um, yeah, go knock on your neighbor's door, tell them to subscribe. My God, thank you guys so much. A great birthday present would be. Don't say my name, my age, guys. Uh, a great birthday present would be. Um, would be, oh, sign the petition. Okay, we got some action. First of all, go to the Julian Assange page, which I'll put in here. Um, I'm going to put in the, uh, did you poop? No. I'm going to put in the Assange info, the Donziger info. Go to, sign up for Marianne's thing. And then also um, hit, oh my God, listen to her little snuggly noises subscribe because subscribing is free it's not like so and i love more patreon subscribers right wouldn't that be great Bodie? i'll get you some filet mignon with that patreon uh, and to do that you just go to patreon.com slash the katie helper show again that's patreon.com slash the katie helper show right boo um and then um it's my birthday so really that would be great for my birthday 
patreon.com slash the Katie Helper Show. Oh, um, also, what's the other thing? Um, yeah, just you could just give me like one listener snort, one dollar a month, guys. That's give me a twelve dollar birthday present. Um, ring that bell. Ring that bell. Um, what else? Um, yeah, fifty k. No, you don't pay for paying. You just did you hear that little snort? No, fifty k free. Listen. Do you hear that? Free Assange for real. I'm gonna put. I'll add in the the chat. I'll add. I mean, in the YouTube description, I will add um, a link to him. Also, uh, yeah, uh, Don Zagar. And also, this is Bodhi. And let me actually make that thing. Let me, thank you guys so much. This is so nice. But yeah, guys, like the stream. Let's get some likes up in here because um, you know why? Because you know why that's so important? Because that's also free. Right? That's also free. Right, Bodhi? Look at her ears going off. Bodhi is too cute, I know. Yeah, how do I get rid of the thing? Oh, and then there's also a petition. Um, thank you so much, Nana. Okay, hold on, how do I make, oh, it's my name. There's also a petition to get me onto The View. Um, but let's just do, let's sub, for, I'm gonna write sub for my birthday. Try for my birthday. And again, um, for Marianne's birthday, you know what you can do? Marianne's birthday, subscribe for my birthday to youtube.com. Is this gonna fit? Probably not. No, okay, sub. All right, sub for my B-Day. Okay, this works. Ah, great. Bodie, we did it. We did it. Yay, we did it. Um, yeah, also um, signed a petition for me to be on The View. Uh, me and Kate Willett. And... We're gonna have a rotating cast. What else? Mom? Maybe I'll get my mom to come in to answer some questions. Okay, I love the way people are like, make your own view, don't join. I don't think that they're gonna consider me, but I just like, we gotta raise, you know, we're, this is about raising, we're raising awareness. Oh, cool, I'm also speaking at the NYC March, looking forward to seeing you there. Yeah, they need to get in touch with me. Um, that sounds like I'm being Hollywood. I'll figure out who to talk to there. Okay, let's see what else. You're not that old, Katie, thank you. What else? Thank you, Diana. Did I miss? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, happy birthday, free Assange, free Steven Donziger. Yes, thank you, Ed. Love you on Fred Hampton Leftist, thank you. Let's see, guys, if anyone becomes Patreon, happy birthday, thank you, Steven. If anyone becomes Patreons, so is everyone here subscribed? Don't do it again if you are subscribed, because if you, oh, look, she's falling asleep. If you are subscribed, I, I think if you hit it again, it'll like unsubscri unsubscribe you, but um, it's to make the new view nervous. Yeah, it's to put them on blast. Um, uh, Jonathan, you want to put the link in the, uh, where's the link to my, there's that petition. Oops, what else? Um, thanks for the content. I hope you have a great birthday. Yeah, don't unsub by mistake. Let's see, how many subs do we have now? Let's take a look. Let's see my channel. Let me make this thing lower. How do I, I can't even remember how to see how many subscribers I have, but we want these to go up. I'm only 600 short, guys. I'm 600 short of getting to 50K. So we can make this happen. I truly believe we can make it happen. Um, I truly believe it. I'm also going to be releasing some clips of um, the Rania show that I did, some clips of the 
um, Stella Morris Assange show that I did. Um, Sir Richard Branson launches into space on the Virgin Galactic flight. Oh, good. I hope he stays there. What else is happening in the news? Don't you guys have any questions for me now that I'm so wise? Um, oh, my God. This is so stupid. All right. Let me just show you this. You know, we were talking about Assange the other day. So here is, let's see. Look at Jim Acosta is trending on Twitter because he's so corny. An expert on the circus industry recently reached out to me and urged me not to compare Trump and his comeback tour to clowns at the circus, as that is an insult to clowns. I agree. All right, fine. That's a good thing to say. But here's, um, this is also an insult to journalists to do what I'm about to show you. Let's see. Um, Remember Acosta, big free speech guy, apparently? We mentioned this the other day. Okay, here it is. All right, I found this. Okay, this is a great video by Matt. Um, or Philea. let's watch it, okay? You guys down to watch it? I hope there's not an echo, though. If there's an echo, I guess I'll stop it. I can put, get headphones if there's an echo. One second, guys. Um, what am I doing? Um, what am I doing? Okay. Guys, and also, you know, I don't have to. I, this is a this is a birthday day for me and I'm I'm kindly I would say streaming. I was not trying to be mean or rude about your production quality earlier. Your kind is why I come for and keep coming back or thank you for your, that and happy birthday. No, I wasn't I wasn't offended by that. It was just a cute it was a funny, you know. Um George Turner from Over the Pond. Is that what you say about England? I said that about Stella Morris the other day, so I hope so. Let me just see what this is. Let's see. Um I watched something like a brainstorming session with you, Crystal Ball and DSA. It was pretty good. Do more. Oh yeah, that was fun. Um, where's the, the Brit? Uh, let's see. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Um, Scowlistic. The view's not ready for Katie. She's too real. And then thank you, um, George Turner for, um, the 20 pounds and the message. Happy birthday. Thanks for allowing me to escape the football soccer. I'm British and it's virtually impossible to avoid. You're welcome. This is a football. For oh, guys, you should definitely watch our latest episode of, um, of useful idiots. We talked to Adolf Reed and you should definitely do that because, um, uh, why should you do that? For many reasons, including to hear my NBA predictions. Cause those are, listen there, hold on. All right, let me see if I can put on these headphones so that I can play this Assange video. Yeah, sorry, boo. You know, I'm going to have to put it down for a second. Hold on. Uh -oh. One second, boo. You are so cute. Oops, she jumped. I think she's a little off. I think I need to. There's something. Hold on, boo. I'll take you out in a second, or I'll, I'll, I'll let you go out in a second. There's definitely a poop thing happening right now, which is weird because she never goes. Did you poop in here? Sorry, I don't mean to embarrass her. Hold on, let me stop screen. But stand by. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this. Um, I'm gonna watch this thing now. I also want to see. Let me see. Oh, hi, Linda, Sophia, um, Pinty. You met me, and in... that's cool. Hold on. Let me just see if I can. Any other videos you want me to respond to? Let me know. Throw them in the chat. Put them on. Actually, put them in. Ch in um, in. Hold on. Can you guys hear me now? Because I just. Let me see if I can switch my cam mic switch. Okay. Good. Uh, external headphones. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, say. Um, uh, if you can hear me, say I can hear you. Can you say that? Someone tell me if you can hear me. I'm still talking. Can you hear me? Yay. And this is George Turner, who I need to give a shout out. Ah, where'd he go? 
Shout out to, where'd you go? Can hear. Thank you, George Turner. The mic is in mic. Yes, that's fine. I just meant, okay, we hear. All right. Um, one second, guys. I'm going to let, Bodie, do you want to go out? Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't even know how cute she is. Hold on one second. <laughs> I guess she does. This is weird. I'm not usually full dying. Ah! She had a one second, guys. Emergency. Bodie poop emergency. Hold on. Um, oh no. Bo, Bo, come here. She pooped. She, she, she had a poop on my mouth. Okay. This is interesting, guys. So, okay. So, as you guys heard me talk about, I can't believe I lost people just because my dog basically pooped on me. I would really think that you would have stuck with me out of solidarity. All right. So, <laughs> this is what they mean by shit show. Here's what's funny, guys. Ready? So, yeah, they are unique. Uh, Bodhi drops a gift that keeps giving. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass Bodhi. But here's the thing. I happen to be wearing, I have the same dress that I was wearing before. I have it in two sizes because um, I didn't know which size. So I like the smaller one. That's the one I was wearing. But I have the other one with me. So I just put on the bigger one. So if you're watching this stream, you're going to know that I changed, but I think other people won't know. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, let's watch this, um, this Assange thing. I'm going to also plug in my thing, bang, 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 bang. One sec. Yeah, guys, remember, oops, sorry. Guys, remember, um, MarianneWilliamson.substack.com. Uh, she'll be having, she'll be putting info on there soon. I'm also going to be doing stuff on mine. Hold on. Where's the outlet? Maybe that'll be a good time for me to stop. Okay. I really want some water. All right, let's see. Where are we? So, yeah, guys, let's see. I don't even know how to tell if I got more subs, but some Patreons would be great. Yeah, it is good that happened after Marion. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm so not a cat person. Um, all right, let me just play this thing. It's not the same dress. If you want, I can show you the other dress in the kitchen. I mean, the bathroom sink where it is right now. In fact, I know it does really sound actually like I'm lying, right? But I would just, the thing is, I would just um, wear a different dress. I just have a couple. I was figuring out what to wear, and I brought both of them out. It does sound, if you're really observant, you would have seen, because you, I was st stood up full body, and if people, not that I want people to focus on that, because that's whatever problematic, 
but oh they're joking you see i'm so gullible okay let's go to this hold on and this is from matt orphalea hold on no it's the same it's actually the same color so if it looked like a lighter blue it may have been just because it's a different fit and it's like falling differently on me i don't know um hold on guys i really hope we're getting some more subs i could try to have on some foreign people right now people in other countries i mean tell me if you can if you can't hear then type can't hear for publishing unflattering truths about you the Trump administration made history when it charged Julian Assange for publishing unflattering truths about U.S. foreign policy in the early 2010s. It's the first time the U.S. government has used the Espionage Act to charge a journalist, and many Americans see it as a serious threat to the free press. It's the criminalization of journalism by the Trump Justice Department and the gravest threat to press freedom by far under the Trump presidency. Meanwhile, CNN's chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta is promoting his book about preserving truth and the First Amendment under the Trump presidency. But he hasn't said a word about the Assange case. So at a book signing event inside the museum, the First Amendment Museum in Washington, D.C., I asked Jim Acosta about just that. Yeah. And you have your video camera there, so this is going to be a doozy. Well, let's see. Go ahead, sir. What okay. Just before your book came out, something happened that the Washington Post, the New York Times, and many Pulitzer Prize winning journalists have recognized as an existential threat to the free press. What are your thoughts on the Trump administration's use of the controversial Espionage Act to indict the WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange for publishing classified information in the early 2010s that exposed war crimes, informed the public, and didn't harm anyone? I appreciate that question. I'm probably not going to give you a satisfactory answer, but I'm going to do the best that I can. Uh, I, I've been asked this question before. It makes it even um, worse. I, I take it from your question and your enthusiasm uh, that you may be a Julian Assange supporter or a WikiLeaks mm -hmm. supporter. Uh, perhaps that's not the case. You're just at, maybe you're just asking the question. I don't know. Uh, in general, I support anybody speaking truth to power. I, no, I, you should have. Okay, you no much. offense. I, I, here's I what you should have said at that point. No offense. I mean, it was great. I'm. I'm that's when you, I mean, it's good you said truth to power, but you are talking to a coward like Acosta. So that's not what you want to say. Okay. I'm just, I'm giving, you know how I was like, I was coaching Biden on how to like, you know, pretend to care about democracy and rule of law by just saying we would have loved to have prosecuted this Trump enabled, whatever shit he says. I still can't believe it, guys. This guy has been, can, his, his hacking charges are based on literally not just, are they, they're not just based on a sociopath sex offender pedophile which to be fair they have a right to be uh, witnesses i mean i'm not sure it's the most effective uh but here's what i will say he admitted to lying so biden just stopped but okay i'm off i'm off track imagine that that's weird that never happens but here's the thing you can't ask you can't say that you support someone who uh, speaks truth to power because acosta doesn't he probably doesn't know what that means and to the extent that he does uh he doesn't care about it right and this is, by the way, at the new Zeme, uh, at like as you, as you saw. So here's what he should have said: I care about freedom of press. Okay. And yes, of course, what Acosta did was he was a total piece of shit because he obviously was like saying like oh, I can't answer this question. I'm gonna I'm gonna like qu questioner blame. That's what he was doing. Like you like you couldn't. I'm going to assume that you care about, basically, he, he's making the assumption that Matt cares about journalism and free press. So, nauseam. Yeah, that's true. Whoops. Ah. It's a question just like any other question not asked by CNN. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, of course the case should be thrown, thrown out because of that. I'll do my best on reparations. Okay, so let's get back to the video. No, I mean it's a good. I'm 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 being. Uh, I, I I still it is a good response, but no, it's not that he's not smart enough to understand that. 
I mean, I mean, I don't think that he doesn't. I don't think he knows like that, that that's a phrase, honestly, because he's such a centrist weirdo lib. But fine, let's go back to the video. Enough of our breaking it down. There are other videos to break down. Take it from your question and your enthusiasm uh, that you may be a Julian Assange supporter or a WikiLeaks supporter. Uh, perhaps that's not the case. You're just maybe you're just asking the question. Okay, so you're literally uh, trying to smear someone. You're trying speaking truth to power. You're trying to smear someone as biased for asking you a very straight. Look, can we watch this from the beginning? Will you guys mind? I'm sorry, I gotta watch it from the beginning. History when it charged Julian Assange for. The Trump administration made history when it charged Julian Assange for publishing unflattering truths about U.S. foreign policy in the early 2010s. It's the first time the U.S. government has used the Espionage Act to charge a journalist, and many Americans see it as a serious threat to the free press. It's the criminalization of journalism by the Trump Justice Department and the gravest threat to press freedom by far under the Trump presidency. Meanwhile, CNN's chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta is promoting his book about preserving truth and the First Amendment under the Trump presidency. But he hasn't said a word about the Assange case. So at a book signing event inside the museum, the First Amendment Museum in Washington, D.C., I asked Jim Acosta about just that. Yeah. And you have your video camera there, so this is going to be a doozy. Well, let's see. Go ahead, sir. What okay. Just before your book came out, something happened that the Washington Post, the New York Times, and many Pulitzer Prize winning journalists have recognized as an existential threat to the free press. What are your thoughts on the Trump administration's use of the controversial Espionage Act to indict the WikiLeaks founder mm -hmm. Julian Assange for publishing classified information in the early 2010s that exposed war crimes, informed the public, and didn't mm -hmm. harm anyone? I appreciate that question. I'm probably not going to give you a satisfactory answer, but I'm going to do the best that I can. Uh, I, I've been asked this question before. Um, I, I take it from your question and your enthusiasm uh, that you may be a Julian Assange supporter or a WikiLeaks supporter. Uh, perhaps that's not the case. You're just maybe you're just asking the question. I don't know. Uh, in general, I support anybody speaking truth to power. I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I, I do think and, and forgive me if if you don't agree with me on this, but I do think what happened with us and my press pass case is slightly different <laughs> than what happened with Julian Assange and, and WikiLeaks. And I, I could try to talk about that for a few moments, but I don't want to drag it on out forever and ever, and then everybody else doesn't get a, a chance to <laughs> get funny. their questions asked. But I'll do the best that I can. My understanding about the Julian Assange situation is that, you know, he is being charged not just for trying to speak truth to power and trying to reveal things. He is in trouble for other things. And, you know, what we've seen during the... By the way, just 17 of the 18 charges against Assange are under the Espionage Act for obtaining and publishing truthful information. 2016 campaign where there were contacts between WikiLeaks and Russian operatives. Okay, the, camp the charges against Assange have absolutely nothing to do with Russia or 2016. That's a good reminder. Uh, that, I think, takes... Wiki no evidence shows WikiLeaks knowingly collaborated with Russian operatives. These are the pop-up things, in case people can't see it, that are happening while he's WikiLeaks talking. And Julian Assange into sort of a different category than just a straight news organization, straight publisher of, of news uh, around the world. Now, I, I'm not saying that... I, I'm not rendering a verdict on Julian Assange. I yes, you are, you lying piece of shit. Should, I think he should have his day in court, I think. We should see what the, the facts are, see what they're, you know, presented uh, and, and, you know, let a court uh, let that process play out. Um, I do think that there is a value in uh, whistleblowers, no question about it. And I do think that there is a value in uh, people inside the government dealing with journalists to sh shine a light on government secrets. No question about it. I mean, during the writing of this book, uh, you can imagine how there are Trump uh, folks who are deeply fearful of speaking on the record with me. I only got a couple of folks to speak on the record with me. Most of them wanted to speak on background. I talked to a national security official uh, with the Trump administration who told me that he didn't know whether or not uh, President Trump was pursuing U.S. interests uh, and was concerned about uh, some of the things that he was doing in, in terms of uh, his dealings with Vladimir Putin. Uh, this official obviously would not be able to talk about those kinds of things on the record. He would be in a lot of trouble. Uh, but we need that kind of information. And so I do understand what Julian Assange and WikiLeaks 
what the, the spirit of what they're trying to do, but I can't sit here and endorse everything that they've done and the tactics that they've used to go about presenting the information that they gather to the world. And I hope you... That wasn't actually the question, but uh, thanks for editorializing and opining on that, especially since you have no idea what you're talking about. Can I appreciate where I'm coming from on that? That's really yeah. all I have to say on the topic. But I'm sp specifically... He's, who the fuck claps for that? You should be embarrassed. Asking, thank you, thank you for. Wait, guys, look at his face. Look at his expression. He's such a smug asshole, as someone said. Watch. And Assange and WikiLeaks, what the the spirit of what they're trying to do, but I can't sit here and endorse everything that they've done and the tactics that they've used to go about presenting the information that they gather to the world. And I hope you can uh, appreciate where I'm coming from. That's a good shot. Hope you can. And the tactics that they've used to go about presenting the information that they gather to the world. And I hope you can uh, appreciate where I'm coming from on that. That's really all I have to say on the top topic. But I'm sp specifically asked. Look, I'm blinking like he's proud. Look at the, thank you. Oh yeah, I went there. Oh yeah, I'm badass. Thank you for your response. I'm trying to be as thoughtful as I can. Wow, that's sad. Uh, but uh, specifically, the I asked about the indictments under the Espionage Act. Yeah. Not not allegations of uh, you know Russian. Obviously, the Espionage which, which, Act, which the Mueller obviously report, obviously uh, federal said, laws should not be abused to punish journalists and punish publishers of information. But I can't I can't on the fly here interpret what is going on in the Julian Assange case and give you a satisfactory answer that's gonna make you feel as though I'm citing No, them. just, what do you think, should, should people, should journalists, or, or there's a, be He doesn't wanna give an answer that is gonna su suggest that he's siding with Assange, which is weird because Assange is being uh, prosecuted uh, or persecuted for publishing, for being, for, for being a journalist. Um, but he's making it as if you have to have this personal affinity and that woman is a coward. Look her up. Let's get all these people's names and do a campaign to not addresses, but we do need to shame people. It's, you know, Leslie and I started a jail of journalists list. Please tell us who you think should be on that list. And and by jail of journalists, we, we're not actually we're not we're not gonna jail any journalists. We're giving them the option to speak out and say free Julian Assange. And then if they don't, then they get thrown in jail. Okay, back to the video be put in prison for publishing classified information. That's the question. Just for publishing classified information. That's the question. Let me, that wasn't let me the think question. about that. I appreciate the time. Thank you. After the talk, Acosta continued to speak with members of the audience on stage. I waited behind the last person had spoken to him before asking again for a solid answer. Just a quick follow-up. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Oh, my man, I'm sorry. My man. Sorry. Sorry. He's like, should journalists be jailed for publishing classified you information? come back here, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, sorry, my As man. As I waited in line to oh, get shit. my book signed, security pulled me out of the line because they were concerned I would ask a question. There's some concern that yeah, you may not have a book to sign and they believe that you may ask questions. I may have a what? Sorry, I didn't. You, you don't have a book to sign? Oh, I do. No, absolutely. Okay. I do. Absolutely. So, but they're not taking any questions. That's, that's what they want. I understand. This is I such understand. great free speech, guys. I have guys. a book to get signed. I'm going to get the book signed. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to advise you. That's all. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, Banner, you I appreciate it. The board, you, you got a book. At least you bought a book. Thanks for doing it. Grandma. Um, and and I'm not going to hound you, but I, you, I think you really should look into the espionage charges specifically I will. against Assange because it's for publishing, obtaining and publishing classified information, and it has nothing to do with anything to do with Russia. I, I'll take a look at it, but thank you. I got to. Please do. Please thank you so much for coming. Things. Yeah. yeah. The fact that CNN's chief White House correspondent talks as if the indictment against Assange has to do with Russia and the 2016 election may explain why so many Americans are misinformed about the Assange case. Interestingly enough, the same material Assange is actually being prosecuted for publishing is memorialized inside the very same building. Holy we were shit, in. I forgot this part. WikiLeaks oh released God. the material in 2010, revealing secrets about the Iraq and Afghanistan wars in much the same way the Pentagon Papers revealed embarrassing government secrets about the Vietnam War. 
Another common misconception about the Assange case is the false assumption that Assange would receive a fair trial if extradited to the U.S. I think he should have his day in court. I think we should see what the, the facts are, see what they're, you know, presented, uh, and, and, you know, let a court, uh, let that process play out. However, in recent Espionage Act cases, prosecutors have convinced courts that the intent of the leaker, the value of the leaks to the public, and the lack of harm caused by the leaks are irrelevant and therefore inadmissible in court. So even though the information was in the public's interest to know, and even though no individual was physically harmed as a result of the publications, just the fact that Assange published information that the government wanted to keep secret to avoid embarrassment and accountability may be enough to send him to jail for life under the Espionage Act. That would set a dangerous precedent, effectively making it a crime for any journalist to expose government secrets. This is, to put it bluntly, wrong, unconstitutional, and downright tyrannical. After Acosta was done signing books, I asked him again if he was okay with jailing journalists for publishing the truth. So I can't, I, I, I'm now meeting. No, 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 no. Can we? Can we? I know, but I'm, I'm now so meeting, meeting with some students hey guys. From, from Chicago, so I can't. Yeah, remember. let's take a picture. He already answered your question, and it's just rude. You're just yelling, and it's just rude. rude. You are it's just rude. rude. Terrible person. You worried? That's enough. That's you know, enough. President, I, that's well, enough. I was ask one of the, so the great. That's bad. enough. Pardon me, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I think that's unfair. You're a very rude person. Yeah, that's rude. We shoot a journalist. Please. Go to prison for life. So rude. Please, please. I feel bad for the security guard. I mean, honestly, he has no choice. And tell Jim Acosta I'm on being Twitter serious. I'm not that if he being really sarcastic. wants to fight for the truth, hold Trump accountable, and preserve the First okay. Amendment, he needs to call out and challenge President Trump on his administration's unprecedented attack on truth. I mean, I like Trump more than Acosta in this video. It's like of the Espionage Act <laughs> to prosecute obviously Julian Assange, Assange. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm being at least I'm Trump. Adela. Thanks for watching. What Julian Assange has done is what media outlets say they're supposed to do, which is bring transparency to the world's most powerful factions. I don't believe you can have a democracy without aggressive investigative reporting and it's without freedom of the press. I think you need crusaders. I think you Obviously, need crusaders right now more than ever. All those who hold power should be held accountable. Whether it's uh, that's WAPO's Marty Baron. Emails, whether it's John Podesta's. That's uh, uh, Dean Bankett at uh, uh, New York Times. I, I mean, guys, we need to re-release re this with sure. those names. Chris Hayes. Okay, here's the thing. Ready? Guys. With its Yuma Costa on Twitter. Here's what I'm going to say. What's interesting about this. And we should re we should I do the jail of journo hashtag or is that is that too divisive? But here's the thing. I know I agree. I think we have to organize a big thing. Journos on the left should organize a big campaign for Assange. Something like a week in which all YouTube streams have a blurb on the case and are we are asked to call reps and news media. Yeah, I agree. So, but here's the thing. What's interesting about this video is that obviously, I mean, but I mean, Greenwald, Cy Hirsch, Chris Hedges are obviously going to be pro Assange as they should be. But what's interesting is that you have uh, the New York Times executive editor and then, and the Washington Post then executive editor. I don't remember if Marty Barron still is. Um, sorry, not executive, but uh, publisher. Someone look this up for me. Hold on. Marty Barron. Who is he right now? Yes, he was. Yeah, he stopped in uh, 2021. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm not. All right. So Martin Barron or Marty Barron was the um, editor of the Washington Post until 2021. So, and here's what's so interesting. Okay. And Dean Eckett, um is the current executive editor of uh, the New York Times. Now you'll see in this, they both basically defend Assange, which is different from our very heroic uh, Cy Hirsch and Chris Hedges, different in that they're not the usual suspects. They should be the usual suspects when we're talking about free press, but we know that we live in a world where people are not pro uh, Assange. I mean, it's a fucked up thing, right? Again, this should be totally straightforward. I don't mean to beat a dead horse. Um, and I certainly don't mean to imply there's anything remotely heroic 
about supporting Assange. What's embarrassing and cowardly are people like Acosta. So I'm, but I'm highlighting that Marty Baron and Dean Baquet both say something in this video that you'll see that is supportive of Assange, right? And Daniel Ellsberg, of course, of course, Daniel Ellsberg, and he's great. He's great. Uh, and uh, he's really great. So, okay, watch this. And again, Daniel Ellsberg, I guess I'm, I'm, he's openly supported him and it's, and it's wonderful. Okay, so let's watch this thing. Really wants to fight for the truth, hold Trump accountable and preserve the First Amendment. He needs to call out and challenge President Trump on his administration's unprecedented attack on truth, government accountability and the First Amendment. With its use of the Espionage Act to prosecute Julian Assange for practicing journalism. I'm Matt Orfala. Thanks for watching. What Julian Assange has done is what media outlets say they're supposed to do, which is bring transparency to the world's most powerful factions. I don't believe you can have a democracy without aggressive investigative reporting. That's Jim Risen at the Intercept. I think you need crusaders. I think you need crusaders right now more than ever. All those who hold power should be held accountable. Uh, Marty Baron. Whether it's text, whether it's documents, whether it's emails, whether it's John. Dean Becquet from the New York Times. The desk is theoretical calendar that shows meetings that are newsworthy. I think the information trumps all. Let us make sure Chris that so, those who resist Chris and fight Hedges, back, sorry, always like this Julian, thing. do not become martyrs to a lost cause. And by the way, that's very scary because he could become a martyr. Like, I don't think people realize how, I mean, you guys do watching this, you know, and I gotta, I gotta share this video, but people may not realize this, you know, he's, they want him to die, as, as we said uh, earlier with Marianne Williamson. But I just want to point something out. I'm going to do one of these real-time tweets. I hope you'll bear with me. A couple things. Uh, let's do a tweet. What what hashtag should we use to shame people for um, for not covering this? Um, one second. Let's do a tweet. Hold on one second. Okay, let's do a tweet. Um, right now... Because here's what I want to point out. You guys, we, we updated people about the, right? We updated people about uh, the the high court's decision, which is basically allowing the United States, they're going to hear its appeal uh, of the lower court's case, which said that uh, Assange could not be extradited, right? Now, uh, what's interesting is that the United States is, what they're arguing is that, well, actually, let's show you what they're arguing, okay? Watch this. Let's have a look at what they're arguing. Hold on. Okay, well, watch this. Ready, guys? Remember, the, part of the reason that they can't extradite Assange, the lower court ruled, is because um, the judge in England said that she was worried that he could be, uh, because he was suicidal. Um, basically, it was like an indictment of the... Um, it was an indictment of our criminal justice system, as Gabor Mate calls it, criminal justice system. Uh, so, so what they had to do was say, no, we're not going to put him in solitary, which is considered torture by the UN. Um, we're just going to, uh, we're not, we're not going to do that, right? But we maybe could do that, and we're going to watch this, okay? Watch this. Let's take a look at what they said, okay? Here's a screen grab from their from the case. Guys, let's keep let's have some more um so keep those things coming. Keep those um keep those Patreon support things coming. I want to thank I want to thank Andrew Miller, John Geary, and Sophia Pinty. And I hope you're subscribing, but uh keep those Patreon support things coming. Okay, but here, going back to the Assange thing. This is a casual Sunday stream in case people can't tell. All right, going back to the Assange thing. Here we go. Here's what the statement f said. Okay, this is the U.S. assurance to a U.K. high court that it will not impose torturous conditions on Assange, and, and the assurance is anything but reassuring. Okay, the U.S. in the next line retains the power to do it. Okay, now here's the... Look at this, ready?
The United States will not impose. Wait, I'm not sharing. Oh, no, I am. The United States will not impose special administrative measures, SAMS, on Mr. Assange pre-trial or post-conviction. This undertaking is subject to the condition that the United States retains the power to impose SAMS on Mr. Assange in the event that after entry of this assurance, he was to commit any future act that met the test for the imposition of a SAM pursuant to 28 CFR 501.2 or 501.3. Now, the reason that this is important is because it is based on, this would only work if the, they were actually fair to Assange. Now, we know they're not, as Stella Morris points out, um, as Stella Morris uh, points out, the basically Assange was spied on. Uh, the CIA was complicit in that, and uh, these things that so they don't even have the wherewithal to, to promise not to put him in solitary confinement, basically. Um, and the SAM, these special administrative measures, are they're also they gag um, the lawyers from from speaking. So this is all terrible. And and here's the thing. So again, they're they're saying that they will impose SAMs if they deem it necessary, right? So that's why it's kind of disappointing to see these responses from certain people. And uh, here we go. So uh, one second. Disappointing. Oh, wait, hold on. That okay, disappointing share screen. Uh, disappointing, disappointing. Okay, disappointing to see. Uh, New York Times and Washington Post. Whose editors rightly spoke out, rightly defended Assange, publish pieces that distort that what that make it seem like oh I didn't show you let me let me gather the screenshots one second. Uh, hold on. I'm really starving, so I'm gonna have to loot the uh, piece out soon. But I just want to do this one thing. I guess I could also do it later. I could do little things where I hop on. Okay, Untitled Folder Three. So remember, remember that Sam thing, right? Where they said that they will, they reserve the right to continue. They reserve the right to subject him to Sam's, right? And again, I highly recommend that people uh, watch the Stella Morris interview that I did, which I'm also going to release as a, uh, you know, it's one of my long streams. So I'm, I'm, cl I'm clipping that up. I, I'm trying to do that more and more. Uh, so that people who don't have the, you know, the stamina for watching one of my long streams. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Ready, guys? Where's my Twitter thing? Okay. This is how the sausage is made. I don't know. Writ of Cabeus uh, uh, Corpus British? I guess not. What, what, what do you mean? I know Habeas Corpus. Didn't Bush suspend that? Okay. Disappointing to see the, ed see the New York Times... 
Oops. What is it? Oh, now you guys know I follow breakthrough news. Really scary. New York Times. And, and, what is it, Post or something? Washington Post, whose editors rightly defend his on public pieces, uh, lying that misrepublish pieces, which misleadingly claim the U.S. government has promised not to subject Assange to torture when they emphatically reserve the right to do so, right? How's that? Is that good? And then here are my little screen grabs that we're going to add. So here's what we got. We got this guy. Okay. Torture Sam's. And they emphatically reserve the right to do so. Okay, so we showed that, and then we're gonna show what do we show next? We wanna show um let's see, do we wanna show uh let's see. I want to show the New York Times and uh, and I want to show the New York Times and Washington Post doing that. That's good. Washington Post, New York Times editors blast Assange indictment. Okay, that's good. All right, now we'll show the maybe we do that first. We do that first, right? Then we're going to show the Sams. Then we're going to show the headlines. Okay. Here's the Sam's. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Thanks for bearing with me. Because it's my birthday. Let's see. That that makes sense, right? We show... Okay, we show the... The Sam's thing. And then we show the New York Times peddling that bullshit. U.S. promises not to imprison Julian Assange under harsh... Conditions. And then the Washington Post, I mean, okay, the Australia thing, they grant him that, but that'll that's also should not be the emphasis. Um Apo downplays. Whatever, that's fine. I think it's, do you think it's self-explanatory that, um, do you think it's self-explanatory? U.S. offers that Assange could serve sentence in Australian extradition appeal. But again, why not focus on the fact that, that they haven't promised to do that? That they haven't promised to not torture them? Should I make that on a separate tweet, like line? Do you know what I mean? Because it's not exactly the same. What do you think? Or do I just go for, you know what, maybe I'll just focus on the New York Times in this tweet. How's that? Okay, that's good. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Because the, the Australia thing is slightly different. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the New York Times. Disappointing to see the New York Times, whose editor, whose editor Dean back, okay, rightly defended Assange. Who's uh, publish pieces which misleadingly claim the U.S. government has promised not to subject Assange to torture when they emphatically reserve the right to do so. Okay, that's good. So here we got the fact that they did that, and then we have that, and then we have this. Okay, perfect. I think we're good. That's all we need, right? Um. Free Assange, what else should we do? Uh, jail journo. I gotta finesse that a little bit more. By the way, if you're watching this, 
not all of this, some of this is going to be Patreon only, not the Assange stuff, because that's really important, but some of this stuff. So if you're watching this, I just want you to know, uh, if you're watching this live, all good. If you watch this later, um, if we watch this, if you watch this later to see the rest of this chat with me and Marianne and some of the other funny moments of this, uh, please go to patreon.com slash the Katie helper show. Again, that's patreon.com slash the Katie helper show. Um, okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. But like, guys, please, um, please do. I'll put a list of actions in here. Sign that, um, sign the, uh, petition for getting me on the view. Please become subscribers. How, can someone check on how many subscribers I have? I can't remember how to, I don't actually know how to see how many I have. But we're trying to get up to 50K. 50K, guys. Um, someone check for me. 50K by on my birthday. So come on, guys. We can do it. 50K. 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 Someone tell me how many I have. My channel. I'm on my Your Channel page. Anyone know? Then I have subscriptions, but that tells me what I'm subscribed to. Someone has to know. Oh, sorry. I didn't close out that thing. Does anyone know? Please clap. It says 49.4. Okay, guys, we're still at 49.4. We. Where do you see that, by the way? We need to get 600 more. 600 more, guys. Let's see if we can get any right now. Guys, who is who? Uh, who watching this hasn't... Who watching this has not subscribed? Didn't we do this one time? We did this one time and we like got, we got there. Uh, three more and we break four digits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the, I don't want to distract people too much, but let's, let's do that one too. So we're almost at a thousand with my petition. Katie helper, the view, but guys get your friends to subscribe, please. Katie helper change. Org. Uh, let's see which one is this one Enrique started one all right we're gonna I'm gonna thank everyone on that one but we gotta we're gonna focus on the, the okay replace Megan McCain with Katie helper on the view okay that's the one where we kind of look like witches edition ABC Katie helper to replace okay here we go we're almost there guys we're at 978. Okay, we're at 978. Oh, that was the thing I was watching in real time. 981. Nine. But guys, did we watch the subs thing? Didn't we watch the subs thing? You haven't already subscribed? Raise your hand if you have not already subscribed. Please go subscribe. Guys, it's really easy. It's really easy. You just go. Someone want to tell anyone how to subscribe? Okay, here's the, whoops, here's the petition. Also, I want to put in the, the Julian Assange stuff because that's really important. Also, hold on. How can we support him? Where's the one that I had the other day? I had it up. AssangeDefense.org. Okay, so there's this. There's this. Okay. Then what's the other one? The crown justice thing? Okay, crowd justice. That's funny. Wait. Which again, they need a crowd justice, guys. We're talking to you. You need a um you need a share thing. Eight days ago. Honestly, I'm gonna keep don't stop supporting my Patreon, but if you have some money, throw it at this thing, because that's really important. And to uh, support me, just subscribe. Uh, to this channel, not to my other channel. This doesn't have a mitts got a fast car, I don't think. Hit the button and ring the bell. But here, guys, this is Julian Assange's website where you can find out more. Um, and yeah, please subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, what else? Please like the stream. How many, you guys, if you're in this stream and you've subscribed, can you please uh, say just, just subbed? Just subbed. Let's see if we got any more Patreons too. Ah, Bodega Man, thank you for your generous, um, your generous Patreon support. Um, let's see. Um, can someone tell me if I've gained any subscribers? 
49 400 that's what i okay just sub so i want to thank you for subbing i want to thank you for subbing uh i tapped the button and uh check dm i actually did sub today just sub guys okay we got to get more subs how do we do that we can do it guys we can do it we can definitely do it oh great yeah if you like that my show um if you like this show you don't want to miss when we're doing streams first of all so i'm really just helping you help yourself but um i gained how many you gained me great we're still at 49 does it show you the details of how many because i would love to see if it's like 49 401 49 402 um but we don't we don't have we don't have um i give out free stuff all the time uh we don't have much time because my birthday ends by and you know what for those of you who say i've been subbed send out an email be like hey it's katie helper's birthday for her birthday please do this um what else share the stream what else what else what else it's very easy to subscribe oh we have how many hours do we have Shit, we have five ten uh we have seven hours right it's five o'clock five ten yeah seven hours Maybe I will make it so that it's 550K by, uh, you know, it'll count tomorrow. Maybe I probably shouldn't. No, no, no. Let's do it by, by midnight tonight, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Or, okay, should I make it less time or more time? Because here's the thing. I believe I was born uh, 11 p.m. So it, that, why don't we go by tomorrow at 11 p.m.? Everyone here. How are there people that aren't subbed able to find these live streams? Maybe because I tweeted out. I'm not sure. But sometimes people look at, okay, guys, everyone, if everyone gets, I'm going to call up a friend. Who should I get? To, you know, everyone who's been on my show, I should actually demand that anyone who wants to come on the show better sub, better subscribe, by which I mean better subscribe. Um, uh, let's see. What else? Um, I think that's about it, right? Um, I think this is great. I think that for my birthday, I'm just going to write for my birthday. Please help me. Help me get to 50K subs, subscribers on YouTube. Other birthday ideas. Patreon support. Become Patreon supporters. Do you think people know how to subscribe? Subscribe and then the bell. Let me just tweet this out. Bodhi really wants you guys to do it, too. I look high as hell. Okay, how to subscribe? I don't know how to. How do I do that, Katie? Is that... Maybe I should do a video. You know what? I should subscribe to someone else's channel who I who I haven't. Maybe Matt. Matt. Matt's thing who I just, you know, because I just watched his. Hold on one second. Oh, such bad mosquito bites. Hold on. Hold on. Get to 50K subscribers on YouTube. I'm at, I'm at four, six hundred, forty K, forty thousand, six hundred. Oh, wait, am I at, no, I'm at 40, no, 49, fuck, I wish, I'm at 49,400. We need, let's get to, let's get to 50K. 
by 7 11 at 11 p.m wait yeah wait no oh wait that doesn't make any sense for me to give it one extra day it doesn't make any sense I guess it does. It's the day of my birth. You know, yeah, because that's random. Okay, let's get 50K by 7 11. No, 7 12. Damn. Really, I only have until 11 p.m., then we're saying. It's too confusing if I, you know, let's just get 7 11 by 7. Let's get 50K by 7 11 midnight. And then if we don't make it, if we don't make it, if we don't make it, we'll give people an extra 24 hours. How's that? Is that good? I think that's good. All right. Okay. People are buying Hunter's art. Hunter Hunter Biden has art. Wow. Okay. Did you? What's seven seventeen? Ooh. What do you mean dry shampoo? Who said I my hair looks great if I do this on myself? What's 717? Am I like, is this some weird like scam thing? What the hell is 717? Oh, 711 is today. I know it's 711 today. Trumping. Oh, guys, you gotta check this once in a while. Because apparently people get thrown off. Katie's a cancer like me, except I'm only half because I'm on cusp between Gemini and cancer. Oh, interesting. Um, all right. Well, guys, this has been great. I will see you soon. Um, make sure don't let don't let the the man uh, don't let the man unsubscribe you. That is weird. There is some weird shit that's happening. Those on the East Coast are three hours behind the East Coast. Um, I'm not anything. I'm not tipsy. I'm not, yeah, just really tired. Um, all right. So we're going to have to do another clip where we go over Hunter Biden's art. Uh, okay, great. So thank you guys so much. Please get your friends to subscribe. We're almost there. And someone even look at this. Someone is subscribed all the way from Belgium. So look, if you're in Belgium, that's a whole world that probably doesn't know a lot about me and you got to spread the word. Do Teespring and sell clothes, coffee mugs, etc. Promoting the show and happy birthday, Katie. July 24th, M for a March. That is true. I do need to do that. All right. We're going to do that ASAP. In fact, I need to get on that big time. Um, well, thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you at the next stream, which you're going to definitely want to. Oh, wait. I was going to show you one thing. Let me show you how to subscribe to. Well, first, let me make sure I know how to subscribe to it. Because that would be. What's it? Uh, Matt. Am I subscribed to him? No, let me just see. So I hit subscribe and then the bell. Ah, okay, personalized. Interesting. I didn't know about this. Hold on. What's this personalized? All right, I'm going to unsubscribe just to... All right, so here's the thing. I'm going to show something, but I don't actually know the answer. Someone can walk me through this. Okay, is it personalized or not personalized? Okay. Oh, I love Baroness Von Sketch show. Oh, sorry. Is there a dry shampoo reference there? Okay. Here's the thing. Okay, watch this. Share screen. I know I do need to do more beats. Okay, share screen. Ready? This is how I'm trying to do. Okay, Matt. Here's Matt's thing, right? Now I subscribe. And then I hit the bell. And then all personalized none. What does that mean? all i guess i want all videos i'll get all notifications now but let me just see something what if i did personalized you'll get personalized notifications i don't know what that means but we want all right now also here's what it looks like i guess if you're on my channel oh i can't tell because i have this vid thing analytics thing don't want to show that anyway did i share the screen just now yes i did okay um Okay, does YouTube send out a plaque for 50K? I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching this and uh, love you all and um, all notifications. So make sure, has everyone clicked the all notifications? Because I never talked about that. I just said, I just said subscribe and the bell, but it's apparently subscribe, bell, and all. 
All right. Bye, everyone. Patreon. If you missed the whole thing, um, then you're going to definitely want to go to patreon.com slash the Katie Helper Show. Again, that's patreon.com slash the Katie Helper Show. Bye, everyone. <laughs>